<laughs> Looks like there goes Susie. Oh. Mm. 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 Dude, it's a whole, it's so out this it's a whole country. All right. What's up, people? Welcome to the Unknown Destination podcast. You already know what destination to be, and you get me? It's right here. But well, we don't know where we're going, though. Aye. We could go anywhere, right? Hey, that's not you know bad, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like you freestyle like all. Freestyle. You, you didn't even have faith in yourself at first. And look how you just... I don't want to the bus when, man, quick. When it's time... You don't even have faith in yourself. When, I'm trying you, to show them the evolution of two once minutes. You, once you press the record button... You just there's have a ready. Come out. You know what I'm saying? You get me? So it's all good. I think they call that oh, Beyonce so syndrome. I mean, but, the other ones... Call me Desmond Fitz. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're going to introduce ourselves. My name is Des Conscious. You know what I'm saying? You could find me up in the main streets of East London. Whoa. But I'm, um, yeah, your co-host with the most, man. You get me, lovely teddy bear. Your girlfriend's favourite side husband. You get me? Let's get it. <laughs> and to my left. <laughs> a lovely teddy bear. <laughs> Is that what you said? Uh, Lovely teddy bear. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm a teddy bear. I'm, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. a teddy bear, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely teddy bear. It's like... It's all right, Slim Daddy. You're going to have your moment, okay? Slim Daddy. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'll take it. I'm Coco. Uh, yes. Okay, Miss Coco, if you nasty. Come on. Um, Miss what? Miss Coco, if you nasty. Like, okay. You know, Miss Janet, if you nasty. It's a little bit of cultural history for you mm-hmm, right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and Corazon, if you're Googling my music. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> and then to my right Well, you know, apparently They call me Slim Daddy Should a daddy slim, you feel mm-hmm. me? Um, mm. The camera like that It did a little, it did a little <laughs> shake right there But that is by no, let me just keep it real The broke sugar daddy So you ain't trying to get no money off from me mm-hmm. You feel me, mm-hmm. right? You know, mm-hmm. we can work on these food stamps mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Oh, food stamps, Listen. whatever, anyway But yeah, yeah. yeah. Those sick girls can't have you, no? Nah, man, I ain't out here. I ain't want to mm-hmm. get into that. It offends me. No, but I know when I'm back in. Hey, I don't know if they're going to know this, but shout out to the Hoodville fam. You know what I'm saying? So that will be something that we laugh at later. That's yeah? Good. yeah. Hoodville. I'm out here. So, okay. yeah. Okay. Well, oh, so I'm Bren. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm trying to get the Hoodville reference though. I, 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 it they must be know. American. They all know. This is going to be so That's dope. why it's here. He's our token. Hey, yo, Hoodville, let's get it. Let's yeah. get it though. You know what I'm saying? We out here, man. Yeah, we know. Hoodville. TV Billy. for life. All right. You know what I'm saying? We're going to laugh right. at that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway. <laughs> it's guys like, yeah. Well, hey, uh, Brenny. Pretty boy brands on Instagram. Finally got, said his thing. I got. Oh, I know it took time, right? My bad. I'm knowing that be rambling, jibber jabbering, if you will. I was gonna say, <laughs> AKA jibber jabber. Jibber jabber. Mm-hmm. We got, I got. I got all the names. <laughs> all right. And, um, I do believe we have a podcast to do, and we should move on. Mm-hmm. I believe. Yeah. So basically, this is unknown destination where we come here, and it really is unknown. We come here, we talk about current events, listen to us having a laugh. And we just put our opinions on things with a little twist. Sometimes we play games mm-hmm. and we come here to entertain the lovely viewers, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So But most of all we digress. Oh yeah, oh most we we digress. digress. <laughs> we digress. Yeah. Digression is just part of the whole thing, the equation. Yeah. It's the mm-hmm. nucleus of it all, if you want. Mm-hmm. 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 It's really unknown destination, okay. we digress. Yeah. Cause really and truly conversation is unlimited, right? There's just no limit to what we can talk about, the content we bring. Absolutely. But we digress nonetheless, you know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Yeah. So what's on your mind? Well, you know what? The last thing I was actually just watching was that whole um, Kim Kardashian. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you even get into that, right? I just thought of something. I, I don't mean to be um, taking this from other podcasts, but certain other podcasts I watched, they ask everybody how... how how are you? How is your mental health and how are you feeling? How was your day? All right, my day's been smooth, though. You know mm. what I'm saying? My day's been smooth, man. Like, you, you know, good? I'm out here working hard, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Getting that daily bread, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, man, I'm in a good mental space right now, you know? Mm-hmm. I like that. I like that. Coco. <laughs> what? Corazon, because I'm not feeling too nasty yet. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, you need to finish your drink then. Um, I'm good actually. I'm good and a much better space. Um, I've 
I've just erased 2020 from my my mind, to be fair. If anyone asks me, they shouldn't ask me, honestly. She just control, alt and delete yeah, 2020, literally, bro. Yeah, literally, it's like it didn't happen, I think. And end so, task. So nice. I like that, end task, I like that. <laughs> Just end task, bro. Do that there for the geek you side. Geeking there. out, yeah. You are geeking well, out. Man, anyway. just went. No, one geek is watching. One geek is watching. He's like, oh, I don't know what they're talking. About. Oh, I like the reference. They got something. Hey, listen. Let me. What's the word I need to patent? And I don't mean the UK slang. I need to actually patent. Patent. It. Yes. Mm. Um, but I just wanted to go about yourself? How you been, though, bro? Yo, you know what, man? I'm actually all right. Life, life. Life been up and down like it always be, but we always are, you know, it's a roller coaster for us all. Mm. So I probably for a lot of people out there. Mm. But you know, I'm still at the theme park. I'm out here. Yeah, that's good, man. That's good. So yeah. So so going back to the question. The, the yeah, the last thing that was on my head though, like that I was watching in it, was the Kim Kim Kardashian. Uh not that I care about these things, but I was just scrolling through in Instagram and that was the last one that caught my attention in it. Mm. Um, about her and Kanye West broken up, and you know, I was just thinking, I was thinking like they were, the relationship was always fake. Yeah. And I just think like it always had a, you know, it's like they just always had a expiry date, like a contract. It's like, Absolutely. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, yep, twenty twenty one, you guys can finish, mm-hmm. and it's like, yeah, it's done. I don't think there was any love there. Absolutely. And I think I think them, the like... model as well for like people coming up now, trying to build like power couple brands and. It doesn't really matter whether they actually have longevity, but however long that they're together, they're going to capitalise, like, Erica and Safari, or, um, I don't know. But, you know, there's other people that are adjacent to that, you know, like, other people are trying to... Because they made made OnlyFans, Erica and Safari, you know? So, you know, it's like, while we're together, let's just see what kind of fame and stuff. And I feel like they're all trying to... To yeah. go in that direction, maybe get a show one day and stuff. I mean, monetize. Kim K and Kim K and Kanye weren't the first, but I would say that yeah, they are one of the best um, examples of it being. I don't think they're successful. the first, but they're like an archetype, you know. For I think the archetype in our generation, the arch- yeah. the archetype is actually the ones that ended up outlasting them, and I think that was Jay Z and Beyonce. Mm, mm. But I actually, that's very true. But I, I do think that Jay Z and Beyonce love each other. That's the difference. I think I that say. I think I think it's just like an arranged marriage where it's worked. Yeah, fair enough. Do you understand? Yeah, like, even if it is that, that's the case. Jay Z and Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, I don't think arranged marriage that work. That, yeah. Look, arranged marriages work. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and I just think that you know. The Illuminati said... Well, actually, Yo. wait. No, to, okay, to, to be fair, to oh, be fair, that, that, that means... What, what is your definition of a marriage working then? I guess it boils down to that. Well, because it's lasted. Like, they ain't broken up yet. So, the fact that people are just together doesn't mean that... Because you can look at it, that doesn't mean some, a marriage is working. So, what is making that marriage work? Because some people might say you lasted together and you're actually in love whether you're two poor people or whatever or don't build an empire or whatever yeah. that marriage is working mm. because there's, there's a difference between it working and it and like it worked you know what I'm saying so for example it might be not the best marriage but it it's still going on that means but it's working for something so that's what I was just getting yeah. at what is your definition of working is it working because they have financial or business gains or whatever or is it because someone else might look at a marriage and be like, just because that's happening, that doesn't mean that marriage is working per se because they don't love each other. They're not in, like, properly in love. People have their different definition of what a proper okay, marriage yeah. is. So there's some marriages that focus on, like, pursuit, business pursuit and building stuff and together. And that's what the, the they intention might be void was, of love. it's working in that sense. Yeah, that's so, all it yeah, for. yeah. Actually, that's very true. Well, the thing is... Depends on cultures, really. I think saying yeah. it worked literally to me looking at the word just mean it's functioning mm. not to not to say it's successful or it's fruitful or it's great it just is still yeah. running so it's like say, it, it, it's just like imagine the word marriage was a car and as long as that engine starts and it can take you from a to b it works mm. and from looking from outside in there are there, that marriage between beyonce and jay-z it's working because they're still married. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, whether I mean, whether or not we know if they're in love or if it's you know you know all the crooks and you know anything that can be, you know, 
all the what's it any of the nuances inside their marriage yeah. we can't tell that but no, certainly they're not. still married isn't it so it's where it's where so well, and anyway, I think it's nice to date someone that, anyway? that like <laughs> no the reason why the reason why I was, was no. having a debate inside of the debate I just realised yeah yeah you, you started <laughs> I, I can't help myself <laughs> no but it was whether or not um, we're talking about iconic well we were comparing iconic arranged or what we call fake power couples that just got together because of financial or power power moves for PR and stuff like do that. Do you think, so you, uh, um, to bring it back to Kanye and Kim, is that what you think their marriage was? 100%. That is purely for status and moving around in the... A million percent, man. Mm. Look. I, on, on both sides. Like, it's a mutual hell thing. Hell yeah, man. You know what? I have to disagree with you. And I feel like neither one of them really actually needed to do that. Kim Kardashian is going to be on an upward trajectory without Kanye and vice versa anyway. You think pre-Kanye Kim yes. was on an upward trajectory? Kim was an up on an upward trajectory. Kanye anyway. had a big influence on Kim's fashion Listen, sense. I'm not, I'm not saying that. They got taken to a whole... A they both benefited. Wait, 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 yeah. I'm not saying that they would not have benefited. I'm saying they didn't actually necessarily need to do it. And I'm saying I don't think that was their main motivation. I think that was a bonus. I think maybe Kanye fetishized. I, mean, I disagree. I don't want to like talk that. about all the motivations Kim might have to get with Kanye. Some I, of them can't be said on camera. I don't want that drama. But yeah, I think that ultimately she gets to have a picturesque family, a very commercial little family from him. And she oh, also wait. gets to play the role of a wife, wait. which is very important to her. So I don't think it's just... I don't think, I don't it, think it is a, just bro, business. I think she wants to Kanye. be a mother. She wanted to be a wife, okay? Um, but it's certainly transactional as well. It's like, okay, we can also build a brand. And she probably just stuck it out let because me, she wanted to make... Pre-Kanye. Like, she, let me clean up. Let, let, let me break this down. Let me hear this. On Kim's side of things, not yeah, Kanye's. Kim's, yeah, on Kim's side of things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pre-Kanye, mm-hmm. Uh, Kim has ended up, first of all, conquering conquering a hip-hop market an urban market as well as a non-urban market she was always in the urban market but she's mm. been now uh, aligned with the beyonce's within the urban market as a wife of a hip-hop superstar and um without having none like for example people will pair her up with Beyonce and they pair her child up. She also cleaned her image from becoming someone that was notoriously famous for being, you know, a sex tape or the do- or a reality TV star to one of the most known names in show business. Um, Pre-Kanye, she was just very popular, long existed. But that Kanye marriage, it also, like you said, it cleaned up her mm. image as a wife. And but, um, is, actually, no, I, would, I wouldn't say so. Just because she also has... It's keeping up the, with the Kardashians that has helped her catapult her into... And, and she got... She didn't get into that show or they didn't do that show because of Kanye. Yeah. She got off her own merit. So their family in general was gaining popularity. She was a stylist to a lot of celebrities and stuff. She oh, that was have, she was? She was a stylist? Yeah, yeah, she has clothing brands. She was, wasn't just I like... Know, some, I, I didn't know what she does. Yeah, no, she I had know, brands and stuff like that. Stylists. And well, put this in, put this in, put this in, put this in. Put this in. So I've got to give her her props. I wouldn't... Her. Someone like me, pre-Kanye... You didn't, wouldn't, know. wouldn't have been introduced and to that's him. the whole point right that's, and she's that so that's all you know what I'm trying to say all I'm saying is uh, she's, well, and, you get me? my argument is why is it that these things weren't just you know sometimes you just do something you have one intention and then all this other shit happens and it's like this is a bonus then mm. why is it not that they actually liked each other and Kanye was whatever because he does crazy shit like watching the sex tape or whatnot. Do you know what? What if they actually just got together like a Hollywood fling, like mappings with no. mad people, and in the getting together, he actually had an influence on it that caused us to start. Because Kanye is still Kanye. For them to get together, he probably could have had some sort of a impact on her, which made us think, let me go in this direction that I'm going, and nah. vice versa. What's I, wrong if two people just meeting each other and actually... Yeah, I'm not saying that's impossible. I'm not saying that it's, it's possible. That's what I'm saying. I actually feel like... I, what is me? I, I feel I like that's how I do think that they liked each other in the beginning. I don't I'm just that. saying that maybe their motivations that. have <laughs> I evolved. Think that. I yeah. think their motivations have certainly what evolved. I think in the beginning, it would have been pure, but I think at the end of the day, and I, I know that Kim did not want to get divorced regardless. I think she really, after the the kind of history that she had dating wise. That was but the you fakest wouldn't... relationship I've seen in my life. 
And you know why I say that? I mean, I don't act. Well, fair enough. Worse. I'm that, saying that. I'm saying, look. I'm saying, first of all, this is show business we're dealing with. This mm-hmm. is Hollywood. This is the 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 most trick, like lying, like it's it. These people are like they do this. They do like they specialize in in imagery. <laughs> of course. Yeah. For one, mm-hmm. two, right. Just looking at it, yeah. Again, just even aside from the whole showbiz stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Is fam, like they're not even like. Kanye West is like this boy from Chicago that was like kind of on this, you know, kind of like woke, like into his sister's yeah. thing. 50 and then, Cent messed with that, whatever, Chelsea, whatever face. I'm just saying people no, no, who come from different But areas. did he marry Chelsea her Handler. though? Chelsea Handler. Chelsea Did he marry her though? He didn't marry her, but, but like, why this, was, just because that didn't happen with them, why can't the same thing can No, we can't, we can't lie that I'm, Kim has changed Kanye's trajectory, definitely. I feel like even yeah, Amber was slightly more in line with who Kanye was before, but... Exactly. Um, with Kim, yeah, even Amber Rose, that was an attempt. Changed. That was a first attempt. Amber Rose was a first attempt mm. at a, a range <laughs> thing. Experiment one. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> that and then boom, Kim blew him differently. Mm. Do you understand? Differently. So, Man's on Ellen, like and then <laughs> like mm. like. True. So not to not to I don't want to, us to drag yeah. this out. We wasn't even planning on talking about this, right? Yeah. So yeah. um, so this to you think that. Is this is more of a, a planned arranged sort of situation, bro? It is like, oh, bro, like it's not even the first time. Listen, Kanye's been trying to do this. Listen, I'm Sierra Leone. I come from Muslim communities, bro. Mm-hmm. That is, that is, Uncle, Uncle Abdul and Auntie Fatima saying, <laughs> my daughter, my my, I have a son for the door. Mm. Mm. And and you. I think that um, it started off pure, but I think that like they would, for even just for the sake of keeping up appearances, for maintaining their brand, I think the love probably left a long time ago. Um, if I was her, I'd want my kids out of the same person as well. So it means that maybe I don't like you so much anymore in that particular way. I'll be like, well, I'm going to have my kids with you. And I think it's very hard to date in Hollywood as well. So I think there's a whole bunch of co- contributing factors for why they would stay together. Besides the fact that there's monetary gain, okay? It's also the same. I mean, Cardi B said that. She said it's really hard to date in Hollywood. She's been trying to blow off time. rappers and celebrities. Oh, double oh, double be... entendre. Yeah, I see that. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, so we're just continuing on, right? On this segment, we are gonna... We wanna get a little bit of a reaction. And um, we want to hear your opinions in the comments as well, right? But we're going to talk about what's actually, I think, has been the most talked about thing this week, right? And it's basically a text message. Yeah, I know most of you guys have seen it already. It's a text message between a guy and a girl. And um, me and Brendan are going to recreate, you know what I'm saying? This text message. <laughs> Coco's never seen. I'll come across it. But I know some people have been divided by whose side they, you know, they're taking. But for me, it's pretty unanimous, isn't it? So we're going to show Coco, and then we're going to discuss it, all right? So this is the text message, right? Um, do, do you want to be top? I'll be bottom. Pause, 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 pause. You, you, you be the boy, but you get... Oh, you know what? I'll just be the first speaker. <laughs> <laughs> you... You be the black text, I'll be the blue text. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Hey, you. Are you checked into the hotel? Let me know what's going on. I called you three times. What the fuck? WTF, by the way. I'm so sorry. I just checked in 30 minutes ago. My phone was charging because it died. I'm getting out of the shower now. Bet. He must be from like New York or something. Bet. I'm on my way to see you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, what you mean, huh? I'm on my way to hang out with you. Is that an issue? Hang out in what way? Tessa. Oh, drop the name, drop mm-hmm. Tessa, we've been talking five and a half months. I flew you out here and got you a hotel. I want to see you, babe. Why are you acting brand new? It's late. 
I don't want company tonight. It's all. I'm tired. It's literally after midnight. Yo, it's Tessa from Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'll be over in the morning then. I'll let you sleep. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, second part, second part. You following the story so far, don't yeah. you? Yeah. It's pretty simple. Over in the morning, just to hang out as friends, right? Can we FaceTime? My phone's still charging. Why are you acting different? Do you not want to hang out? I didn't know we was just friends. There's really quotation marks there. Just friends. I would not have flown you out. I don't fuck my friends. I've been sending nudes and sexing. Should be sexting, I think. We've been sending nudes. Oh, my bad. We've been. Choo, choo, choo. We've been sending nudes and sexing. Sexing? I on FaceTime? Close, by the way. What am I missing here? I feel like we're rushing things. I don't want to have sex or anything. Just hang out as friends, if that's okay. Smiley face. Mm. You're amazing and a good friend. I don't want to upset you. Is this thumbs down part of this whole transaction or is that yeah. some other shit? Like, yeah, I think... I don't, no, did no, he no. thumbs down? <laughs> Where's the thumbs down coming from? I didn't even know it's not until now. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, thumbs down. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, upset me? Nah, he really... Dude, that's a question mark. Yeah, he I goes, had... upset me? Exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark. Yeah. I'm, li- <laughs> I'm, I'm livid. livid. Exclamation mark. mark. I paid over $1,000 for you to come out here. I don't do that for friends. You know what? No worries. Since we friends, I need my money back. Nine hundred and seventy-seven and fifty-six. <laughs> Man didn't even round it down. Okay. I don't have that. Why are you acting this way? I just want to take things slow. Please don't be mean. Taking it slow would mean me not flying you out here. You played me. So check out is at 12 p.m. tomorrow. I'm canceling the other two days. Yikes. Ooh. Also, I'm canceling the flight back. Damn. You can figure it out on your own. Ooh. Wow. So this how you going to do the people? I don't have money to get home. At least allow me to fly back. I'll check out tomorrow. Nah, I lose my number and have a nice life. I'm sorry. <laughs> you blacked me please pick up I don't have the funds to get home shake my head SMH SMH that's the end of that one right that's the end of that mm-hmm. Yo, first reaction let's get yours first because we already know about it so this is the first time you're reacting to it so we want to get a pure mm-hmm. reaction as yeah. you know from a woman's point of view um, I think that like you shouldn't take yourself anywhere that you can't get home and that is fucking nuts to me. I will not catch any flight. Any guy that... Even a cab. I do not go anywhere unless I have cab mm. money to escape, okay? That's how you get sexually assaulted. So I would not fly all the way to wherever mm. and not have the money to bring myself back. Yeah. So I won't lie. That's the kind of... It's a bummy move on her part. Mm. Like, And there's things that can happen. You can have an accident, anything else. But most of all, the whole... Okay. I wouldn't really let my friend buy me a flight you know what I mean like it's like to say oh we're friends now mm-hmm. it does sound like she was finessing him I absolutely understand like taking it slow but mm-hmm. you, everything comes with a price you can't thank take you. a flight off a guy and what they're not going to expect nothing off you thank you, know? you thank you you smart I know. you smart you loyal you know what one time yeah I linked a guy on the first day that I linked him he was like come let's go to Nigeria because he's Nigerian uh, <laughs> but, but he was about was, to be a whole sacrifice, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like he was, he, he no, had open, he had, he, bro. He was, he was about to become a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> but he had it all set up, bro. You <laughs> saved your life. Fuck off. First of all, <laughs> Man, I, so wouldn't, go like, nice. I wouldn't even go on a holiday with a guy that I've just met or any guy that I don't trust like that because what happens when we're down there? If I disagree with you on something and I've come down there on your coin, what's gonna happen now? 
I'm gonna feel like I can't argue and stuff like this. Person in a place like Nige like, as well, right? Mm, exactly. In, it's mad. Mate, I can go to Europe and stuff. I've got rights, you know. I've got a British passport. <laughs> hey, bro. Yeah, someone gives not that there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. The like, flights, the flights are cheap. I can get someone yeah. to send me two hundred pounds for a quick flight from yeah. Europe. The next, it's a bit, even in yeah. an hour. It's just nine. But Africa, yeah, that's yeah. a thousand. Yeah, anywhere in Africa. Is yeah, just, America, that's it's, it's, a thousand. It's different. Pounds. It's different to just you know, yeah, St yeah. Albans. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I can get my. You know what I'm saying, like. I, I've got my way back from Brighton before without yeah. having a ticket. That's, but mm. all the way you're catching flights. Mm-mm. Stay home, baby girl. Nah. Stay home. What do you think? What do you think, my bro? Nah, man. I feel like it's clear that she was trying to finesse, or or she's just one of those. Because I think this is a a, a a wave of women that are out here that are so up themselves and so entitled because they fall into this bad bitch category. So mm. they just slap up the attention and whatever they can get off of a guy and but she she was trying to um this is like an escalation of when girls is hungry so they get a guy to take them out yeah, yeah, flirt yeah. and do whatever she just took it too far but her game was weak mm. right and and to be fair the ending of that i felt that i'm i'm split on it because the guy in me and just that person that watches the movie and you want to see the star get revenge. Mm. I was like, yes, nigga. Mm. <laughs> Tell her to get her ass home. That's, mm, I was happy. And when I read block, I was like, well, you blocked the no- Listen, nigga. Listen, I was, I, I'm actually pissed that he ain't get his money, but. <laughs> yeah, true. Like, but, he even just decided that it wasn't even worth the hassle. Like, But I'm asking you though, um, a lot of women are, um, are con- from a devil's advocate point of view, I feel mm-hmm. a lot of women are okay. I, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say because that's the other thing I'm split on, which I think is what you're about to say yeah. is it's still a human being that you've just left stranded out there. Like it's one thing to get that revenge or whatnot, but what if now she? Yes, she was finessing and it's wrong, right? But now she really can't get home and she's stuck. And something bad really happens to this girl. You I'm gonna add that to that. Like, I'm gonna like, add to that too. Like, mm. is it not actual now? Um, a form of sexual pressure that he's putting on where because she's not giving up sex he's now using money and because then if she said well for example Mm. if she said well I do well well, I'm stranded and well so let's have sex then even though she doesn't want to Mm. she ends up having sex in order to stay the rest of the the week or the the time and then she gets a flight Mm. back home would that be some kind of like you know is that I, w- I would say that unfortunately that's kind of a predicament that she's got herself into and this is what i mean about don't leave yourself because if she did i would even understand because you got to get home mm. so if she has to fuck him now i'd be like yeah well you had to get home somehow mm. but it's also a predicament that she got into herself and mm. if as uh, to to be fair just because of my moral compass i would get the person home just yeah. because I don't want something to have happened to you because, like, I was... And maybe, you know, that's the game. I got finessed. So it's like, uh, let me not get mad if we haven't clarified these things or had certain conversations or understood what kind of relationship we have before that. So I would probably send the person back and even, like, for So you both send them back? I would cut the... Because you said it was two yeah. days. I would have... Check out would still be tomorrow. Mm. I would say... Um, because when I think about from a... A humanitarian point of view. Humanitarian. I, I'm not going to have you stranded out here on for, because of me for real. Damn. So I'm a, I'm a cut I'm a cut the trip short and be like, all right, Yo, bitch. Hold on, wait. Well, I'm trying to see if your halo still. Uh, <laughs> Shit, you a good guy, son. Yo, man, I'll be pissed about hey. it. Hey, I'll be no. I know it's a, it's a straight finesse, but as soon as I find out the finesse. I'm gonna be like, you know what, bitch? The holiday, the trip is over. Take your ass back home. Let me give my two friends. Here's bro. your money. But what I would do though is I'll be like, I cancel that flight, and well, I don't know, I don't know how I pull it off, but I put it in a sense that I can wash my hands of the situation. You do have, if if it was the money for the flight back, you got it. I'll take this L, but that's it. It's a mm. wrap. So if you do stay and finesse your way through, you know, good luck to you. Mm-mm. But Mm-mm. that's I, how I would do it. Me, I'm going full blown big shack roadman. <laughs> like like not only are you lucky, not only am I am I am I cancelling the flight, 
you're lucky that I'm not coming to the hotel and taking <laughs> taking your, your 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 bag, your jewelry to recuperate the mm. money that I spent on the flight mm. that I've already lost out on. Mm. No, so no. I'm already a, a grand down or nine hundred and fifty-six cents. Six, not fifty-five. Fifty-six cents. That's six cents more than fifty cents. Who is a whole hip hop star, bro? You, know what I'm saying? you get me? I like how you. <laughs> it makes it more valuable. Exactly. Value. But what I'm saying though is, fam. It's all fun and games till you catch a case though. What? You can't just roll up to a girl. No, no, no. Okay, no. I'm joking. No, no. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna roll up to her. No, but I'm, I'm just what saying, I'm saying is that in actuality, he thought back. Probably thought back. You can't actually go to the hotel and get your money out of this. He got it, and he she, got finesse. What's the chances of her giving him his money back? Mm. So at the end of the day, listen, you are a grown person. You tried to finesse me. Mm. Yeah. You tried to you tried to commit a crime against me. You you're trying to boops me. <laughs> this is a this, Old school this words is like boops. You're trying to boops me, innit? Mm-hmm. My Duty of care. I wipe my hands clean. Mm. You get me? Mm. I'm sleeping like a baby. <laughs> if you die, in the words of Ivan Drago, if she dies, she dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can hear Bro. the accent as well. <laughs> I she can't dies. co-sign If she dies, she dies, she dies. <laughs> <laughs> but she's a whole grown person out here uh, doing them kind of schemes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What I'm, okay, wait, no, okay. Let's, jokes aside, jokes aside. I'm talking about my perspective. Mm. But as a whole grown person, you have done this. You're using emotional uh, manipulation, attack, manipulation mm. to make a man come out of his pocket and you're teasing him and, and, and making him pay for flights. Mm. And then, and then, and, and then now you want to say, you know, you, not only that, but you were, you were sending nudes before. Mm. So okay, it's not even like, it's yeah. not even like say, to yeah. say that, it's not even to say that. That's why that, I say that, that they hadn't, finesse. they hadn't, yeah. if it was just like, if it was just like a misunderstanding where this guy's just like, yeah, it hadn't been clear, like the line mm. hadn't been crossed. Yeah. Yeah. But he's like, look, we've been talking for five months. Sexing. Yeah. Oh, sexing, yeah. we've been sending nudes, yeah. FaceTime, we've talked about... We talked about what we're going to do with each other. Yeah. That, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is, if and I then... was going to do that to a guy, if I was going to, and I had finesse before, I, I finesse from the front, okay? I'm going to be like, no, we're just friends. I don't want... So that That's... anything that you do, mm-hmm. I'm not going to sex to yes. or any assumptions uh... that you make. So if you want to pay for mm-hmm. a flight, I'll, I'll be like, because I have finished before, so I'll be like, but did I say I wanted to that's do it. anything with you? No, that's it. Twice. That's it. Highlight. It's the same way. What yeah. I'm trying to say, though. You highlight your finesse before. She's like, because I, yeah, I have finesse before. Yeah, I'm saying, she's just, no, no, I'm just I saying. Thought, I thought, I thought, I have I told you that I finesse before? There's she an like, ethical finesse. She out here like there's the finesse connoisseur. Finesse. Finesse. You know what I'm saying? She's like, listen, listen. When, the, when we look back on the footage, we're going to see her in the camera going, but I have finesse before. He's like, wow, when did she get time to do this? Yo. I'm just saying there's ethics and morals. So mm. it's one thing to just say to someone, do this for me. Or it's another thing to say, you can do that if you want. It's not going to get you what you want. But if you want to, then you can. It's the same way in a club. Um, a guy would be like, you can, buy, can I buy you a drink? And say, you can. You're not going to hang out with me for the rest of the night. But if you want to buy me a drink. You're not choice. Yeah. Bro, imagine someone. Ima- 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 imagine, yeah, you've got a car, right? Yeah. Mm. Somebody... Yeah, gets in your car, yeah, trying to get a free ride home after the club. And then you, you like these times, you end up in Scotland, but they need to be in Kent. And then you're in Scotland now, and then it's like, oh, what are you doing in my car, bruv? You clocked that day in your car. And they're like, oh, shit, I thought you was going to Kent, man. I was trying to hit a free ride. And you're like, oh, now I'm in Scotland, man, but can you get out of my car? Oh man, can you take me back to Kent though? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Am I driving? You know what I'm saying? Look, bro, get out of my car. Whatever you do now is you. You, understand? you got yourself here in the first place. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got yourself here in the first place. It's not my responsibility to take you home now. Mm. You got your, you from your criminality <laughs> and your lies and deception and deceit. You sound hurt. Both. Uh, I'm burning. Her on behalf of the guy. I am. Um, I was. I was reading that shit, and I put her in the whole dustbin, fam. <laughs> I put her whole existence in the dustbin, cause that is wickedness. <laughs> I put her existence. She's in done. The She's and done I get what you're saying, right? Uh, just to just to, um, 
She's done. I don't mind us getting, we could, you know, keep getting our jokes off, but <laughs> at the same time, I understand that comparison, but it's still different because this is a whole nother country. I would be more inclined if it, if it was closer yeah, to what the United you said. States, but I know it's Scotland. State. I know you said we, 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 oh no, oh, in Scotland, the thing, right? In your analogy. Oh yeah, my analogy. It's yeah. still easier for that person to make their way. They can still fall back. They were within the country, I suppose, or their, their origin, or whatever yeah. the case may be. As opposed to this person is overseas mm. now. This is internet. This is a whole different. No, I just think they were in different states. Yeah, I don't think. I think oh. they're in different states. Yeah, I just think they're in different. Yeah, I, think, I think yeah. it's like an American. No, but some cause... states are like. Five, I know they're nine far. I know. I know they're stuff. far. So that is still country. It's well, easy to get yeah, to true, France. True, true. Like, I shouldn't have so said we international, can't... but yeah. Yeah, no, we can't yeah. say that. Just a state is still what. But Alaska still, and, I, my and, bad. I had a this way. Flying in it. Put it this way: If I'm in the UK. And a team from France hollers, and as she flies to the UK, it's not a long thing to get home. No, it's not. You can you can make your own way home. You're a ton of, um, you, get me? you can Have, get like a ninety nine pound train. You can. Or? There was a man that swam, the um, Channel Tunnel, bro. It's not it's not hard. <laughs> if it's that deep, you can swim. <laughs> you get me? That deep, What's that bus that they have in America? They have the Greyhound. He doesn't know the double entendre that you the double entendre. If it's that deep, <laughs> you, can, you swim. can swim. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That sounds like a good that. mixtape um, name. If it's that deep, it's you, that can deep you can swim. Mm-hmm. Mm. Think about it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I that reminds first. me of a Benny the Butcher um, lyric. Mm. He goes, um, "They burnt bridges. I burnt bridges, but I had to swim swim my way back." You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, all the niggas that are burnt bridges were. Yeah, yeah, but I had to swim my way back. Yeah. Mm. So, you know what I'm saying? It was very humble. But anyway, we're going on. I was going to be more clever. We digress. No, I mean, it's, not, it's not a punchline, <laughs> but it's just, it's like, it's like I just like the imagery, you know? Mm. Yeah, we digress. So we digress. digress. So, we digress. We'll change that. If you've got opinions on that, you know, we're not trying to hurt anyone's feelings. We know, you know, some. Ooh, look, as a man, you've got to be a gentleman. Before I go, I don't want to misinterpret it. <laughs> you've got to be a gentleman. You can't pressurize women <laughs> for sex, and you know there's gonna be times when men, you take women away, you take people on holiday, you go to a hotel. You're not expected to have sex. Sex isn't an expectation, and a woman can say no at any time, and mm-hmm. you cannot use mm-hmm. your financial is a thing. or your power to into you know to force her or to bully her. Mm-hmm. And normally, I'll be like, no, bro, like you can't. It, you know, what I'm trying to say. However, what I would say, you should just take the L. Yeah, you could take the L. You know what I'm trying to say? Sex is never guaranteed. You know what I'm trying to say? And But however, what I will say is that this woman manipulated the man. She purposely manipulated him yeah. to expect sex. Yeah. Do you understand? And then she acted brand new. Mm. And that is where the manipulation comes in. And now, rather than you now forcing a situation, I think he acted right. He... Washed his hands clean. You tried it, boom. Yeah. All right, cool. <clears throat> you know what I'm trying to say. You play, what's it? Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. That's it. Absolutely. You know what I'm trying to say. Absolutely. So, uh, but yeah, let's respect our women. Now. I will end, and and on that before before we digress. So switching it up. Changing gears. We digress. So. We digress a little bit. So yeah, well, what are we doing now? What are we talking about? I know you had something up your sleeve. Cool. <sighs> well, you know what? Since. Since the dust has settled, okay, yeah. and we have a little more clarity, and you know, I just want to talk about Dutch Avelli and his career, and the state of it basically, because obviously we know he had all those allegations um, about grooming and stuff. He didn't actually end up doing any time for them, and nothing was actually proven. Mm. And it's kind of you know, how permanent is council culture really and truly? Because do you think feel like he should be cancelled? Did you see the text message? Are we are we up to date? I just remembered some shit. Mm-hmm. That was the topic. That was this other topic we're talking about people surviving cancel culture. Yeah, there you. <laughs> Someone's like, I know what the fuck I'm doing. Anyway, Dutch Avelli, I don't really know too much about him, so that's that's y'all. Y'all gotta take that away. <laughs> he was. Um, I know he's that's um, Stefan Dow's brother. Yeah, he was, okay. I've seen like I know he was making moves enough for me to see who he is. Yeah. By the way, obviously I live in England, so it's not like I'm some like oh my god I'm so American and so disconnected <laughs> with what's going on. I mean, <laughs> is this still tourist. dizzy rascal? You want some show? <laughs> um, that is that dizzy? <clears throat> nah, I get the tiny old, anger. <laughs> tiny anger. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was terrible. Yo, that <laughs> tiny hey, anger. See, I like that. Come on, man. Yeah, see, come on. 
He's haters, speaks, man. He's yeah. proper you know what I'm corny, man. Oh my god. You know what I'm we like corny shit over yeah, there, yeah, yeah. man. Yo, to all the corny yeah. people out there, it's all good, man. Yeah. Corny squads. Yeah. yeah, but I do know Dutch Fuddy is, is big enough anyway. Like he's up there with um, pause. Who would you say is up there? Yeah, good. Could pause you. <laughs> How comes I did the pause first? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, Look, Dutch Avelli was um, doing his thing. You get me? And it's mad because I personally was disappointed when I started hearing <laughs> these allegations. Uh, As a fan, tell, what, what is the allegations against her? In dealing, basically dealing with underage girl. Yeah, grooming mm. a, a family you know I mean? friend and um, family their friend. kid, yeah. But the thing is, okay, I and truly... And to another artist. Oh yeah, Zandos. that T-Vandos. Yeah, T-Zandos. Yeah. I'm not... I, I believe she's 18, 19, yeah. basically. I've seen her, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I ain't she's, done the most charged. wickedest research on this whole thing. I mean, I was a bit aware and I did. But I've personally, in my head, I've written him off. Do you get me? And which is... I don't know if it's good or bad because... I could be writing off an innocent guy. Yeah, I was going to say all these allegations is true. But, they seem but true. the thing is, some of the text messages and seeing what I'm seeing, comment, what certain commentators are saying, I'm, I, this isn't one that I've made a decision myself. I've literally gone with the crowd. And Has I've he gone, denied those messages, by the way? Of course. He's, he's, like he's denied the context he's, behind it. He did a whole video. Yeah. The messages themselves or the context of the message? The messages themselves is uh, open to interpretation. He gave context to the message. So he gave context but to the message. these are actually messages. That yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Some of them, he, uh, he said that had been deleted. Part parts of the conversation had been deleted. Yeah. Mm. There was a whole theory about him dating the girl's mum, and that's how they're contacting each other mm. through Instagram and stuff like that. Mm. I think you know what I had to share your sentiment on that is mm. that I am big on like accountability, especially when it comes to anyone who's predatory. It's just scary to me the idea that um, there's no actual solid proof. Mm. And let's say he was innocent, and I'm not even saying that he is, I'm just saying it's the potential for where the situation can go because this can make someone top themselves. I'm not saying that he's innocent, I'm just saying that because it's painful to watch because at least with, let's say, other predators like R. Kelly or Michael Jackson, we have testimonials and people, you know, there's... <laughs> no, we're, we're talking about predators here. But mine seem... Nah, I've got, I got a Michael Jackson rebuttal, though. No, I'm no, wait, 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 no. I, I don't think that Michael was a paedophile. I'm saying that the allegations mm. are coming yeah. from, uh, from a source that you, you can be like, okay, this might be a reliable source. Mm. There's nothing. We haven't heard anything about anything. Mm. And that makes me white, so I can't make a proper conclusion about it. Yeah. But but I can still be like, mm, I'm gonna. St- I've stayed away from his music by yeah. default until yeah. I can, I can really understand it and be it's ob- mad, stay it's, objective. Yeah. Right Listen, now. Listen, it's crazy because we've all. You know what? I like to look, look at the end of the day. You know, they say that the um, the highest form of intelligence is being able to juggle an opinion without necessarily committing to it. Do you understand? Mm. And I always leave. Uh, a what if in my head. Yeah. The truth is, is yeah. that I don't know. Mm. So in my head at the moment, I'm juggling like the likelihood of how likely it is, but also the likelihood. Have you ever like, you know, like these situations, for example, taking away from Dutch Avelli, yeah? Have you ever been in a scenario or situation? I was literally about to jump in. That, you know? that is like, um, oh, let me give you an example. A scenario or situation, right? That you are innocent, but then when someone... Um, comes in and looks at it from what you're doing, it's like, bro, what are you doing? Like, say for example, say for example, yeah, um, you had um, your wallet here, right? You had your wallet here, mm-hmm. yeah? And then you left the room, yeah? And then I don't care about your wallet, yeah? All right? Mm-hmm. And then the wallet drops for some reason. Mm-hmm. And then I pick it up, right? And say cash falls out of your wallet mm-hmm. when it drops. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And then I pick up the money and then I put the money, I'm putting the money back in the wallet. Mm-hmm. And then you walk in the room and you're seeing me with cash coming, you're seeing it like it's coming out of the wallet. Mm-hmm. And then now you've come in, I'm like, oh, bro, your wallet dropped. I was just putting the money in. Mm-hmm. Now you're in a position where you don't know. <laughs> you're like, shit. This guy is just this stealing from me. And you're like, no, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. Do you understand? Like, you're yeah. genuinely innocent, but you're mm. in a very compromising position. Yeah. But yeah. the evidence looks like, well, this guy waited until I left the room 
And then he started mm. thieving my, for my for my wallet. And then when I call him, he's pretending that he's putting money in. Yeah. But they didn't see it drop. And they didn't, you know what I'm saying? They just, they, they're like, I caught you red handed. Yes. Yeah, Do you understand? Yeah. So it's like, it's yeah. mad. Like, there's always, I always have that room yeah. when I can try and comprehend things. And that's not me to say I'm kind of allowing him. Because no, in no, my head, and when not. I say, when I say, I'm not really. I'm just, it's the lack of information yeah, in certain that's, places. Yeah, that's really I, I did actually, Yeah, I did actually hear the voice notes myself. Yeah. And I, I heard that, but I, I just didn't care enough to, I, I, Took in what I could and what I had the energy to, but yeah. you know, I the messages, the voice hard. notes, and everything, everything, all the allegations are strong. That yeah. he, even if he's not done anything bookie, it's just the bookiness no, you know around it. Do you understand? What you that? said it's, before about compromising situation, yeah. I think ultimately it's that you're in a position of power now, so you can't put yourself in any situ- situation that might be techie. Yeah. It's just that at the same time, he was proper coming up at the time all of this happened, so yeah. it's like. It's also the first big thing. Like, unfortunately, it's been a very bad lesson. And again, we're not saying whether he did it or not because he has not been convicted. So I have to leave some room for doubt. Yeah. But by default, I will not play his music. It's not even. And, and, and let, me, let me just tell you something as well. I don't do the cancellation thing where it's Can like. Ask a quick word. Hold on. I, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm not doing this thing where it's like, like, I I I will not play his music because I stand against Dutch. I understand that. For me, I'm just naturally, naturally, it's natural. Yeah. I'm t- like, I just, I've lost kind of respect. Yeah, English. exactly. So it's My natural. My has gone down, yeah. It's like, it's not even because... I'm not and, trying and, to. And again, no disrespect to Dutch, no disrespect to Dutch, no disrespect to him. I, I, no, no disrespect to him. I actually really liked him. Yeah. And the way he came out, his imagery, this bad boy thing, like, the way it looked, he looked hard, pause. <laughs> but, yeah, what's happened now is that now that whole image that was coming out with his artistry has just kind of toppled down and yeah. he's gonna have to i can't i can't really and he when i say no disrespect to him he's like, i'll give you an example I'll, I'll say the name you said like someone like r kelly who is convicted mm-hmm. and who i do think is dutty and in my head i've lost respect and rating to him yeah but r kelly had like 20 years of good music that mm-hmm. that i'm like it's actually difficult. Like I'm, I'm exercising discipline. If I say I'm cancelling, or I've cancelled R. Kelly, but then if I hear, like, um, you know that, that you know him and the Ashley brothers, I'm like, oh shit, that's a. You know what I'm saying? The name of love is a hard thing. Yeah, I'm trying to say. Bro. So it's like it's like Dutch. His music ain't that good for it to be. Yeah. For me, it's just like mm, I'm just going to listen to him. And I'm trying to say. So you have a longer run, man. Like the whole. I don't know, is this even a, a is it recorded? for us to be yeah, talking about right now? And the angles are good, yeah? The angles are perfect. Uh, I'm just saying, I think this is like, a, just to finish off that topic, because we're running from the last, coming from that last one, the whole cancelling people, and I can just always separate somebody from whatever their artistry is. All I would say is, if whatever it is that they're doing is so dastardly, I don't want to con- to positively contribute to their life, then yes, yeah. I will stop I'll only stop listening to the music because every time I listen to that music, mm-hmm. it produces a royalty for you yeah. or something yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. I will stop buying your product mm-hmm. if it's lining your pockets. Mm. Facts. However, like you said, if I already got five packs of this shit right here, I'm eating that shit. I'm talking about the album. If I already got the CD anyway, while I'm bumping that shit, while other people aren't around. <laughs> for real. Now, I'm gonna be respectful. I'm gonna listen to step. I'll be lying to myself. If Ignition Remix comes on <laughs> and I didn't have to stream that shit, then I'm gonna just be like, mm-hmm. let me tell you something. I actually don't dance to Ignition in the clubs mm-hmm. by mm-hmm. default. On this is a personal protest. What's happening, Kelly Price? Mm-hmm. Oh, that shit he done with Kelly Price, yeah. yeah I can never cancel that song. To go in when the full look at her, look at her, look at her, look at her, she was saying she can't, look, she's doing the whole, look, see, just now, you see, I was there, I'm shit was personal <laughs> protest, listen, there's <laughs> other people on that track, no, bro. but it's, it's R- R- no, 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 still. but there's the Isley Brothers, Kelly Price, there's other people, you can't just so he cancel a whole it. song, no, you know what she does, you know what she does, you can't even cancel a whole song, there's three people trying to eat on that song, so, he's out his pedophilia, no, this is, this is, this is her, she'll be listening to it, when Kelly Price is on volume up, <laughs> with R. Kelly, R. Kelly should be mute. <laughs> 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 she, she, 
She waited until one one eyes did come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know. Yep. Shit. I just so that's a good that's I a good that's a good scenario actually. What do you do in that situation? Cause you stream that song because other people is on it. Yeah, they eat, but he eats too still. What if he wrote some of their shit? Yeah, what if he, he produced he wrote the song? a whole a bunch of shit. Okay, this is how I draw the line. First of all, let's say there's a band, I've forgotten the name of them, um, a rock band. Before you finish, right? Here's the, no, actually, continue, 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 sorry. <laughs> I was going to say something, so just continue, sorry. He was going to say something, I messed up. Continue, sorry. And then his morality... I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go yeah, for it. the band. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's just close this up, okay? All right. Dutch is done at it. No, I'm joking. You know what? Yeah, I mean... Let's just, let's see. You know, we say this now, but honestly, the way that the, the way things work, he could come with a banging hit. I just think it's gonna be hard for him to do a thing, um, you know, unless he comes with some compelling evidence and showcase to. Time does heal, but at the end of the day, I just look at him as someone that even if he didn't have sex with them or anything like that, but he, that for it, it, he's guilty of the same. No smoke without fire, and unfortunately, mm. there was a lot of smoke yeah. in that situation. Yeah, like just too much, like there two was different people, smoke. Mm. and like you shouldn't. You know, I'm trying to say, and if he's got you Dutch, man, like I could only imagine being innocent, and the whole world thinking you're that kind of guy. Like I would, I would even I, my heart goes out to you. But if he's guilty, then it's like yeah, you're done at it. You know what I'm saying? Like you deserve everything you get. We don't know. So, unfortunately, um, the fact is, is that his music isn't... He's not had solid foot in the ground to say raw. And, like, man can still survive this kind of PR. Um, this, this kind of... His career is not strong enough to survive this, this, this storm. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to well, it's not. It's I not, checked out his pages and stuff, and my man's doing his thing. He's, he's still signed, so the yeah. record, the record yeah, label's gonna. Yeah, his label hasn't wanna, dropped They're him. gonna, they're gonna wanna make he's some. He's still, he's still look, got they're gonna girls to make doing some kissy, money. like love heart eyes in his. At the end of the day, what so. they're doing, they're waiting. They're waiting, and you know, time, time, does things. I don't say heal, but time, you know, whatever. Do you start listening to his music again if he's innocent? If he's in, if I find out he's innocent, like absolutely that he's innocent, like if I find out that he's like there's there's a way that I just find out that he is unequivocally innocent, like he didn't not innocent in the t- sense of he's not going to trial, but he's actually <clears throat> innocent of like I find out that like he really just was unfortunate and this this thing was just like he's not he like, he hasn't really done anything wrong. If I find that out, then I'm gonna listen. But I'm. Um, I will regain respect for him, and not only would I regain respect, I will, um, I will have a bit of, um, I will feel bad that I've wrote him off. I'd have remorse for him. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You, yeah. yeah. Corazon. Um. Yeah, obviously, I wouldn't hold it against him if they proved that, um, that you know he's innocent and stuff. But like I said, if you're doing stuff that my little brother wouldn't do, then by that, just by default, that's where I draw the line. And your little brother, like, texting girls that are young. That yeah, young. like, my, oh, I mean, regardless my, of what happens, you Yeah, regardless smile. of what happened, for me, the, like... Yeah, the talking to T. Zandos thing. Yeah, that... Is like, that although she's legal age, that's still yeah, kind of, like, exactly. raw. So, my, raw. like, like you're saying, like, my ratings have gone down for you simply mm. because, like, my little brother, who's, who's, like, your age, basically, wouldn't do that. He has a certain standard for himself, and I would think that Dutch, big man like Dutch, big famous guy mm. like Dutch, would have certain standards for himself. So the truth mm. is, either way, our relationship is done. You know what I mean? Mad, mad, mad. Unfortunately. Mm. How old is this T Sambo person? She's like 18, bro. Yeah, how old 18, is it? 19. Dutch is what? 27, 28, I think. Anyway, um, I think so. Yeah, but mm. but he's in his late 20s mm. to mm. mid to early 30s. I think he's. He's above 26, under 30. Mm. Yeah, so... No, he's not 30 yet. He's like 20... I think 27? Yeah, 26, 27, I think. But anyway, we got we got Google, so I mean, if we're wrong, just, you know what I'm saying, Google it. 
You know, people be some fact checkers online and stuff like that. He's 27 years old. Get your facts right. 27 years old. Yeah. All right, 27. Cool. So, yeah, literally, cool. my little brother. <gasps> what? Me and Dutch Avelli have the same birthday. Is it? <laughs> Anyway, so what, she going to change her birthday now? Oh, wow, I think she should. You change your year. Mm. You just erased 2020, so mm-hmm. I mean, okay. I'm shifting, yeah. you know? But you know what, saying that though, I'm against cancel culture. I'm against it. But that's a whole different topic. And I find out next time, um, because we're about to go into a whole new uh, yeah, bag of chips. Yeah. Why don't we wrap this shit up, okay? Yeah. yeah. Actually, I have a question then. So, just to kick it back to everyone else, who finally gets to see this video um even though it may be a little bit past now but what do you guys feel about the whole dutch dutch valley incident and is it wrong for someone of his age to be speaking to how do you feel about this guy of whatever age he is what age is he? 27 to be talking to a 19 year old 18 18 18 year old in that space what do you guys just think of the whole situation and if it turns out beyond that if he wasn't really doing any of these other things that he was alleged for, uh, accused of do you rate him again do you rate him now will you feel bad for not listening to his music and condemning him condemning him blah 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 what's your reactions on that the other topics let's kick it out as well what else did we talk about earlier that we want some feedback we on? digress uh, we talked about finessing okay the game Okay, finessing people for forgetting yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah, we want your feedback on you that. Know. We want some comments. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's it really. Yeah. So people, there you go. We've had another great episode of Unknown Destination. Another great episode. How long did it take you lot to just finally... The procrastination. Procrastination is a hell of a drug. Yeah, you know, this is your first episode. Well, this is like our 10th, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> we've been out here, man, you know what yeah, I'm saying? For real, for so, anyways, please let us know what you think. We love to get you guys on board. You know, all of that. Like, subscribe, share this thing, fam, you get me? And, yeah, man, let's get in, let's get in. If you've got some comments or things you want us to talk about next time, hit us up, man. But it's goodbye for me, and it's goodbye for my side, man. I mean, um, my, my, co- my co-host, Zero. Um, what's her name again? Um, depends um, how you feel was, nice it friend, was it? Um, introduce. Go switch um, up wow. the camera, babe. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Uh, peace!